let me introduce uh, the new semi-star until I get him home tomorrow. He'll be back in the doghouse, Julius. Henry, off to Marble for the dunk. I just, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think he was going to pass it to me at first because I was like a little too close and then the guy went and helped and then it made it easier for me to uh, go up and dunk it. And I mean, I didn't think I got high enough at first, but I said, you know, I got to go for it. And so I went and did it and it felt really good because, you know, we're at Duke and, you know, I kind of hate Duke. So in order to do that, it felt really good. I just asked my guys and the coaches staff just to keep our composure, you know, everybody's in a fight, you know, you, you get hit the first couple of times and you got to know how to respond. Those are, those are where the champions stand. All players and all teams get hit, but it's how you respond and how you sustain yourself in the, in the fight. And I felt like we did a good job of that. You know, this halftime coach was just on us. You know, he was cussing us out a lot because I feel like they came out and hit us first. But, you know, we came out second half and, you know, we stayed together and we executed on offense and, you know, came out with the win. The last couple of weeks, uh, you know, he's been telling me I've been doing great in practice and, you know, I've been making strides and this and that. And I was one, you know, the Eastern Michigan game, I got three minutes and then Notre Dame, I got two. So I felt like if I'm making strides, I should get a little bit more minutes. So I talked to him about it and, you know, trying to see what I'm doing wrong, like what's keeping me off the court and stuff like that. And he just said, you know, it's just about managing rotations and uh, getting other guys' chances and this and that and just telling me to stay ready. And, you know, that's what I did today. Coach, I mean, having the faith in me to, to, to put the ball in my hands like that, but I feel just having the faith in myself to know the player that I am and I can compete at this level. And, and he demands that out of me. He doesn't just, you know, give me the ball for any reason just to go out there and do anything with it. No, he demands me to be great. He holds me accountable to the highest standard standard that, you know, I had to raise for myself, honestly. And, I, and I'm, I'm appreciative of that. And that coach looks at me like that and will do that for me. But, you know, for our team, I just feel like <clears throat> anything to win. Hey, Rocket, with the way Duke came after you on defense to pressure the ball, and you knew that that was coming but once yeah. you got through and got through the opening minutes, did you learn something in the in the process? Can you grow from this now? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I just gotta learn how to, you know, pace myself with the ball. You know, when they pressure me, I feel like I get out of control at, you know, you know, sometimes and I just try to, you know, score the ball. But you know, I just gotta execute and, you know, pass the ball when they pressure me and, you know, when the ball come back, then I look to score and I feel like I was out of control at one point in time. But, you know, I just kept my head on and we came out the win. You know, the second half I just came out just playing aggressive and, you know, taking care of the ball. And just seeing what they was giving me, and um, and yeah, I was just I was just executing on. It's a process, you know. This is my first year playing point guard, you know, on the big stage, and you know, I just got to work on, you know, just take care of the ball when they press me, and you know, don't get out of control. So you know, that's something I need to work on. I wasn't like going out to try and like you know get a basket or this and that. I was just trying to do my role, and it just so happened I was able to score some points and you know be a spark off the bench. I played in some <clears throat> some some big games, some tough games here. I've won some championships here, but you know, the, the most important thing was, you know, I could I can be on the same side with Coach Izzo. You know, I felt like we were in tune a whole bunch. He was listening to me. I was listening to him. And even his vision on the court and what he sees is not the same as ours. And that respect that he has for us on the court and what we see and and how it returns to him. You know, I felt like I was his voice out there and, and that was that was the most comfortable part for me. You know, I can be an extension of him on the court and it really gave our team some direction as well as some other players. For the things he's done for me and, and all the times that he's had my back behind closed doors, in my face, not in my face, man, it's, that's the least I can do for him. He's, he's helped me out in more ways than just getting a win for him tonight. And very appreciative of that. And I'm happy for coaching in, in the career he's had. I'm happy I'm one of the players that's got him a win here in Cameron. It's a hard place to win from, from what I understand and with or without fans. And it was still tough. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy this happened, and I'm happy, you know, I, I, I could do it with him. I learned a lot last year from that. Uh, X was, a, like, an uh, instrumental guy and telling me, like, when you get in there, just make sure you do what you need to do and not try and do anything outside yourself. So this year I knew if I could get the opportunity, just make sure I play my game and make sure I do whatever I need to do to help the team. And, yeah, it is hard, and, like, it did take some learning, but, you know, I'm starting to figure out a little bit, and I want to make sure that I'm doing whatever we can or whatever I can to help the team win. Like it starts at the head and, and, and being the person that I am, I'm, I'm not going to ever fold or quit or put my head down when times get hard. You know, I've been hit with a lot harder things in my life and I feel like on the court, you know, I can respond to anything no matter how big the punch is or, or how, how we take the punch. You know, I feel like everybody that, that comes here, you know, understands that it has that type of background to where they know how to respond to things on and off the court. And, and, and I'm really, really, really proud of our group and how we responded. I felt like we grew, we see who the team we could be 
and you know, I hope we can sustain consistency throughout the season with that.